Okay, say something, Ken. All say right, Blues will be on here with Jim Cardi, <laughs> Scott Ken Poplowski, Howard Alden once again. Once and, again for the first time. And still no one not going. And uh, not uh, that I'm upset. What? What are we, uh, chopped liver? <laughs> no, no. I was just telling Howard this afternoon, you were one funny bastard on stage. Well, thank you. You're Thanks. half right. Usually, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. He, he steals my best lines. Um, yeah. <laughs> No, you know we have fun up there. It's a, it's a, it's a very compatible group. You know, everybody. Yeah. We're all, we're all friends, and we all come from similar but different backgrounds. So it always, there's always some fireworks when the three of them get on stage. Yeah, so very exciting. And there's something to be said for George to take the Ween Machine out here to see you guys on the quad stage, right? Yeah, on the uh, Harbor it, it stage. Really is. And, and it's really because of him. He, he's been talking about, he really has been talking about trying to get this group right. together for three years, and one or the other of them hasn't been available because yeah. they're all so busy. But. And that's uh, what I said on stage was true. You know, George uh, it really it did a lot for us, you know, sure. when we really needed it. You know, he, he would bring us over to the Nice Festival every year, do a whole circuit in Europe, bring us here, you know, in, not to mention the New York festivals. And so he was really good and, and loyal to. Uh, to like a then younger group of musicians that that played kind of more, for lack of a better word, mainstream jazz, you know. Shorney continues with the Grace Kellys and the Esperanza Spaldings and yeah. has been doing this since the 50s. Well, he, God bless him. he always keeps his ears open. He's yeah. always he's always listening to, to who's out there, you know. Yeah. Well, well, you know, I caught, caught Howard with uh, George there about a week or two ago in Boston and, mm -hmm. you know, I bent his ear, you know, I love Tedeschi Trucks and, Boy, didn't he know chapter and verse about, you know, the Allman Brothers, Tedeschi, Trucks, mm. and every, you know. Such you a go. current guy at 86, yeah. you, you know. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, much. He knows uh, he's got a wider range of yeah. musical interests than a lot of people do, yeah. half his age, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No question about yeah. it. So, Ken, tell me, what, what projects have you got uh, recently released and in the pipeline so we can uh, I just did a new record on the Capri label, and I've got a couple out on that label also, and I've got a duo record coming out with Dick Hyman. Oh, really? Recorded live at this club called Kitano in New York. That'll be out in the fall. Well, you're from Cleveland, huh? Uh, I don't like to, you know, mention that to <laughs> a lot of people. I was telling Howard, yeah. you know, that my blues <laughs> buddies go to Wilbur's. Yeah, have you but been to Wilbur's? well, no. See, I'm, I, I've been out of Cleveland for 30 years. Yeah, but you never so. really lose lose that. No, connection, you, you try to, but it's no. Like an albatross. What? Wait, wait a minute. Where are you from? <laughs> I, I lived in the Berg for a while near Cleveland. Okay, so well, I'm, no, I'm from Garfield Heights. Okay, southeast. Then, Where are you? The North Hills. Where are you? Pittsburgh. Okay. But I'm a Boston guy. Really. All right. Okay. But uh, it's funny, Joe Lovano. You know, we always talk about Cleveland, but he's a few years older than me, so we didn't know each other then, but mm. we. We have that connection, you know. We always yeah, we yeah. always talk about it, you know. No, in Boston we have you know Ron Levy and Bob Margot, and I think we're in the same class at Brooklyn High School, Brookline High School, you know. And, wow. uh, you know, it's very strange to have guys that are that talented, mm. and, you know, right there. Yeah. But uh, and how about yourself, Mr. Alden? You've got projects as always. Yeah. Let me what? hold the mic. For oh, you. please do. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Ken. Well, little bits and pieces here. I'm still. We still. It's still in the pipeline. Myself and Jack Wilkins are gonna do something together soon. We've been playing together as a duo for many years, and it's still just as fun as ever. And uh, also, I mentioned work on another duo project with the singer Gene Geese. That's gonna be, you know, probably in the next three or four months. And whoever, and other than that, I'm available. <laughs> and that was kind of, you know, offline. You were saying that Steve Miller kind of uh, initiated that he did project. It, he did instigate it and got it started and did, and did our first session for us, which was very nice, and then basically put our hands and said, Good, goodbye and good luck. <laughs> no, no, he was very nice. You know, he's very awesome, awesome. great, great inspiration. I'm really enjoying Ken holding the microphone. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, not. I'm not, but so uh, you are. I, I can, I can see that. I, yeah. I, uh, I'm about to no. steal your line. The check's in the mail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poor Lewis got it on the chin a little bit there, but uh, uh, you know. So awesome. Well, I appreciate the time you guys spent with no, me today. No, nice and, talking uh, to you. And wonderful. Thank you so we're, much. We're off. All, we're off to Oregon tomorrow morning. Yeah, we yeah we got to head back to New York now and then. Both have flights tomorrow morning, so. Poor things. Yeah. Work, work, work. Yeah. work All work, these musicians work. who want work, and you're complaining about work. No, we're work? not complaining. Believe me, I'm just <laughs> stating facts. I'm glad. I'm glad we got some work. Yeah. That's it. Great. Yeah. Thank you hey, so much. Nice, nice to talk to you. I'll see you soon. Safe travels yeah. home there, Howard. Say out of Gene for me. Thanks. I will.